Chloe Winter last updated 1419, October 2, 2017 Victoria University of Wellington Chinese postgraduate student Cindy John Hua's son, left, imposed boss chief executive Johnny McKenzie took part in the International Markets Insights Program IMIP. Breaking into new overseas markets may soon be as simple as teaming up with an international student. Victoria University of Wellington and Education New Zealand is offering a new program, which matches international students from eight countries with Wellington businesses which want to export products to the students' home country. The International Markets Insights program aims to give Wellington businesses direct cultural insights into their target overseas markets. The three-month program, which launched this year, saw 15 students spend 10 to 15 hours a fortnight with a business, working for free on a project tailored to the business exporting needs. Read more New Zealand exporters are competitors here, but collaborators fear Chinese postgraduate student Cindy John Hua's son, who was partnered with app creator Pose Boss to investigate the feasibility of launching the company's iPad till software in China's hospitality sector. Sun said working with Pose Boss was a good match because she was able to share her marketing experience from China's hospitality industry, as well as provide cultural understanding of the company's target market. It is a good opportunity to get to know New Zealand's enterprise culture, communication ways and working environment. Pose Boss Chief Executive Johnny McKenzie said he would not have known where to start without Sun. Our process is to turn up and spend some time there, but what would have been the tricky part would have been having absolutely no idea were to go and spend two weeks in China and not really understanding their culture and not really knowing where to go and what's going on, Mackenzie said. With Cindy, we got such a great opportunity to learn without the massive overheads and for a small company, that is a huge bonus. The program included workshops on online marketing, New Zealand's global reputation and communication between cultures. Alison Cooper who managed the program, said the objective was to create connections between students and businesses. The businesses involved included tech startups and small to medium-sized export companies targeting markets in Asia, the Middle East and Europe. Victoria University of Wellington hoped to run the program again in 2018 with more businesses and students. The program was supported by Wellington Regional Economic Development Agency. Stuff.